To do this work, you have to believe that it's possible. You have to believe that you can win, and we do win. We've won hundreds of victories over the years. When you look at that, that energizes you for the next fight. We fought for healthcare expansion. Over 600,000 people had access now to Medicaid. We fought for and with tenants to preserve their housing. Expand the SNAP programs. The complete reform of the Illinois child support system. We demanded that immigrant communities be treated fairly. Raising the minimum wage. We passed the just housing ordinance. We're able to take the wins that we've gotten and replicate them around the country, state by state. Change laws and change lives. Not one, not two, not thousands, but millions of people. As we push forward, defining the movement for today and tomorrow, we have to use that hope to unite us. Today, we litigate, shape policy, and train multi-state networks of lawyers, community leaders, and activists nationwide. We work with and for the people most impacted by inequity. To pursue justice for all. With equal dignity, respect, and power under the law. We see ourselves as building up an army of advocates that are equipped to do their anti-poverty work with racial justice at the core. And really being humble enough and trusting enough to support community, to support their judgment, support their decision-making, and use the tools and resources that we have to help communities achieve their priorities. Create the story that we're trying to tell. We have the common narrative out there and we need to share our story. There's more of an urgency when it's actually your situation, when you're the one or your family member is actually the one that's being discriminated. There's a direct correlation between race and equity. We can't do anything if we cannot dismantle the system. And until we address our history and our racist history as a country, then we can't necessarily move forward to equity and to equality. Everybody is worth opportunity. Everyone should have access to opportunity. There's more than enough resources for everyone. I think we're absolutely part of a movement, and I think it's a really growing movement. There's power in, in believing in the possibility of change. I think the misconception is that we don't need each other, but we do. We need to make sure that our systems are giving people what they actually need to live a dignified life. Regardless of race or where they come from. It's really about reframing how we value people. And it means holding our institutions accountable. This is the future we're fighting for where everyone has the power to determine their futures. Using litigation and policy advocacy to affect change where it's needed most. Everybody has a role to play to get us where we need to go, and you can be a part of that. We need donations to continue the work. We need people to lead the charge. To unapologetically tackle racial inequities. Contact your elected officials to voice your support for laws that advance economic and racial justice because every single person can make a difference. And when all of us come together, we make the difference. You're actually part of this right now. We're all part of the movement. And we can't do this work without you. Join us in the belief that our mission is possible. And if we put in the effort, we can get it done. We are the movement.